Well, it's time for lesson number 11. I'm standing here on the awesome Brisbane River. I just wanted to take a quick shot around. Very interesting enough, you can see I've just had this big flood. You can virtually see very few things that actually would have told you there's a flood. You can see a little bit of fences, etc., etc. But basically, you've got the, uh, the river all the way around. What is lesson number 11? Lesson number 11 is all about your gut feel. Now, you might have been very successful in property in South Africa or in other locations. But the reason you're successful is because you've got the experience and your gut feel means a lot. So even though you do the numbers, you do the research, you speak to a lot of people who are in your circle of trust, but ultimately you use your gut feel to come up with the right decision. The problem you've got is at the moment you move into a, into a foreign location, you don't have that gut feel. A lot of people think they've got that gut feel because that gut feel's worked for them in the past, but their gut feel doesn't work for them in the offshore markets. At the end of the day, their circle of trust, the people they trust, the people that's at the end of their telephone, their network, if you want to call it that, doesn't exist here. And the only people they're taking advice from is from people that they pretty much just met or even their friends who don't necessarily specialize in the market. And the problem is, is that they pretty much tell them what they want to hear or what their perception is rather than what the right information is. They don't know where to get the right research or the right information. And ultimately, it comes down to their gut feel. Often they say, well, this is something that I would like, or this is something that people in South Africa would like. I've had a lot of clients that say to me, but this is not how I would like my house to be designed. It's irrelevant how they would like their house to be designed. It's how the Australian tenant would like the house to be designed, because they're the ones that will be renting it. It's the same when it comes to shopping centers. It's the same when it comes to commercial buildings. Your gut feel is completely irrelevant. You've got experience. I understand that, you, I, I, and it makes a lot of sense to me. But your gut feel in this market is irrelevant. I've got uh, some of my partners who we came and looked at some shopping centers here. And on the face of it, it looked great. Gut feel, it was great. It was two kilometers from the city, a fund for $32 million had bought it, and we could pick it up for $15 million. And all our guts told us it was a good investment. But with thorough due diligence and research, we actually learned that it was one of the biggest lemons in the, in the commercial market, residential shopping, uh, sorry, not residential, but um, shopping centers here in the Brisbane market. Less than two Ks from the CBD and more than 50% off. I mean, it was an absolute no-brainer, but that's not what actually happened. And that's where I come back and I say to you, lesson number 11, your gut feel doesn't work. Don't rely on your gut feel. You've got to spend a lot more time researching the market. You've got to find the best of breed partners on the ground so that you can get the right information and you can right, make the right investments. So coming live from the Brisbane River, that's lesson number 11. Thank you.